How's it going, friends? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing well as well, thank you. In today's video, we're going to experiment a little bit with something new, a new technology. Artificial intelligence, it's where the game is going, right? There's so many great things you can do with artificial intelligence, and it looks like now it's coming for your video job. Well, not exactly. I think uh, for now we're safe, in my own personal opinion. We're gonna show you how to edit your video using artificial intelligence uh, to do something, I guess, a little bit different. It's like a different effect that you can give to your video so it's perceived in a different view or in a different way. However, I wanna say that it is somewhat gimmicky. So it is better if you learn how to control your own effects and have like full control of everything that you're doing. And we're going to be using the following server. It's called Kyver.ai. And I have actually tried a few different ways of making artificial intelligence style videos. It seems that Kyver.ai is the more user friendly as well as the better results for the most part without having to complicate yourself too much with different types of prompts or being too specific with the prompts. And without further ado, we're gonna jump into the computer right now and figure out how we can edit your video to go to AI. All right guys, so the first thing we do is skyver.ai slash create. We just go there and click on the first link. The main website will come up and there's a few different options. For the most part, we're gonna click shortly here on create video, but there is a setup. You can set up an account with them uh, where you can, I believe it's only about $15 a month and you get a good amount of credits. I think it's about a thousand credits that you get with them. And you know, you can create a few different videos. It spends about 15 uh, credits per video. But anyway, we'll click where it says create video and transform existing video. Then all you do is just pick the one that you want to create. Uh, just keep in mind that it has to be, I believe, the most of 15 seconds. Uh, this one here is actually about 9, 10 seconds, so wouldn't be a problem. And then you click where it says continue to prompt. Now this is the fun part. This is where you can really get creative and figure out how you want to do things. Uh, there is some like presets that you can select and honestly with Kyver, if it's your first time using it, I would recommend uh, messing with these presets first so you get an idea about what's going on. Now the one that we're going to create today is going to be all presets. However, the other video that I will be mixing this with, I kind of use some prompts by myself. Uh, you don't have to be super specific, but you have to give the computer uh, or the server a little bit of an idea you have to be pretty descriptive on exactly what you're looking for otherwise it starts to get tangled up and you know we don't like the results that much but uh, in this case we're going to go with the futuristic cyberpunk that's probably what you've seen online if you've seen any other similar videos uh, you can select any other option 3d rendering and then this option here uh, transform it's basically the higher you go the more it's gonna put the ai effect on your video and the less you do it's gonna be obviously less of an effect so we're just gonna leave it to the preset six and we go to preview frames this is where it's gonna start processing the video but uh, here we go we get network error this is the major problem i have with kyber i don't seem to have a very good seamless experience with this software or, or, or a server because it just seems to crash out of the blue. But now it looks like it created something. Uh, it looks like a little bit weird to me though. Uh, let's see what do we have here. Um, okay, it looks kind of cool. So I really want to try it out. See what this, see what we come up with. i um, not too sure which one to select because I wanted to see the car, but it looks like it's just taking the building right now. But uh, let's try this out. Uh, I mean, there's a robot here, look kind of cool. Let's try that one out and see what it does. So what you do is you select your frame that you think that, okay, that's, that looks kind of cool. And then you click create video. I have tried another software, by the way, called uh, Runway. And it seems like it works a lot better. Like the server seems to be a ton more stable, but you seem to have to be very specific with the way you, you select your prompts. I tried something somewhat, you know, specific, but it was giving me some random stuff that honestly, I, I don't know what to think of, um, but uh, it, it may be just user error. But again, that's why I was thinking that Kyver.ai is a lot easier to deal with, especially if you're a newbie, especially if you're starting out. All right, guys, so as you can see, we got the final product out here right now. It made a little bit of a mistake, I guess, at the beginning. 
but honestly, it looks kind of sick. I like it. I think I could definitely use this and incorporate it to my video because we're gonna do a basic edit, so we can, um, so you can see how you can just integrate this to your actual workflow. Uh, anyways, now that this is done, we're gonna go to upgrade to upscale videos. I'm, I like to, uh, actually, I thought I had the upscale option already selected. So the next thing that we're gonna do. Usually I would have an account. I actually canceled this account because I was having too, too many problems with it, but honestly I might get it back because um, I like the 4K. There's an upscale to 4K option. I'm not gonna upgrade right now just because I'm, uh, this is just for demonstration purposes. So we're gonna go to DaVinci Resolve and we're gonna make something super easy, guys. I'm not gonna complicate um, the process here at all for you guys. Uh, we're just gonna go and layer these on top of the original video and we're gonna start integrating both of them as we go. So, you know, we're gonna make sure we first see what the original video was like. So something like that. And then bam, we might, we might get something like this. There you go. And then I'm going to, I'm just gonna edit this really quick for you guys. I'm probably not gonna explain the whole process because you probably already know that, uh, I know this. And bam, that's it guys, you get something like this. I mean, it's not extremely refined, like I said, you could probably jump on After Effects and add more like crazy transitions and stuff like that. But I just wanted to make it super simple because I don't wanna make this video too long. Thank you very much for watching guys. I really hope that this video was helpful for you. If you think that this content is valuable, if you think that I deserve a subscription from your beautiful attention today, I would appreciate if you go ahead and subscribe and smash the like button. Peace out.